Well, look who's with us. Chris Rondo, he is the CEO of Planet Fitness. He's joining us now from, live from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. I'm going to say that Planet Fitness is the gym for every man, the average guy. But Chris, before we start, I think you've got some news for us. Tell us. Yeah, sure do, Stuart. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we actually, in March, for the first time ever, broke 10 million members of uh, Planet Fitness. So it's a big milestone for us, big milestone for the industry. We now currently have over 10 million members. Okay. Now, I have to be honest. I've never been in a gym in my life, and I've never used a piece of gym equipment in okay. my life. So how are you going to get someone like me into your gym? That's a great question because that's what we, we, we focus on mostly. Our whole gym model is based on the first timer or casual gym user. We want to introduce a lot of people to fitness. 80% of the U.S. population does not belong to a gym steward. So we really going after the 80%, trying to get them off the couch, trying to get them reacclimated into fitness. We have the right affordability, memberships 10 bucks a month, and the right equipment for them. 10 bucks a month, that's it? Yes, that's it. Very affordable, so anybody can give it a shot. I don't have to sign a contract that I'll stay with you for 15 years. It's <laughs> at 10 bucks a month, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Ten million, been ten bucks a month since the 90s, believe it or not. I'm told you have a pizza night uh, the first Monday of each month. Is that accurate? Sure, true. Yeah, the first Monday of every month is pizza night nationwide at all 1,300 locations. Um, it's kind of our way to break down the barriers, come as you are, you know, camaraderie between the members and the staff alike. We feel like if you work out a couple of days a week, you deserve the splurge once a month. Okay, I'm told that you are the big, you, you, uh, ten million members. That's yes. the largest membership of any gym group in America. Is that accurate? Yeah, yeah. My estimates is at least double the next closest, correct. Okay, so there you go. Who's your competition? Uh, you know, funny, people ask me that all the time, and I feel like because I'm going after the 80% that doesn't have a gym membership, I look like my, uh, my competition is the movie theaters and the restaurants, <laughs> quite honestly. Um, but, uh, you know, we have a lot of competition in this industry. For the next closest is about half the amount of units we have. We have 1,300 stores today, and uh, we're growing very rapidly. We opened 195 last year. We plan to open 200 uh, this year as well. Okay. Um... I mean, forgive me for saying this, but I, I, I am of the opinion that maybe the gym industry has peaked, that maybe the next generation of 20 and 30 and 40 somethings won't be quite as interested in gyms. How are you going to counter that? Yeah, I think just the opposite. I mean, especially what we're going after, we almost look like the rest of the industry is about the fit getting fitter, and we're about going after that first time a casual gym user. So I look like all our competition is fighting over that 20%. And I'm going after this whole group of people that has been underserved for so long. And, and I look at, you know, what's happened with just Whole Foods, wearable devices. Just the general awareness and wellness continues to accelerate. Yeah. And I think we are really in the sweet spot for that. Don't worry. Uh, we're all narcissists, so we all keep on taking pictures of ourselves, <laughs> selfies, and we all want to look good all the time. Mm -hmm. Chris, thanks for joining us. Great news. Thanks 10 million members. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Appreciate it. Thank yes. you.